How's it going, everybody? Ghost Pain here. Welcome back to Overwatch 2. And today I've got a special treat for you guys. As we Overwatch 2 fans, we were introduced to a special treat earlier this week with the Porsche collaboration. You can get this bundle. Oh, I don't know what happened there. You can get this bundle. I believe for 3,400 Overwatch coins, pretty expensive if you ask me, but if you like them enough, go get them. And if you've got the resources, go get them. Nice little highlight intro there, and I love that the boosters sound like Porsche engines for both these characters, Farah and um, D.Va here. We'll look at D.Va's. We're probably going to do Farah's in this video in-game, but yeah. Here's Divas. I really love the tail lights on the back, along with the Porsche on the middle tail light. I love that she's got the Porsche logo on the hood of her mech. Very, very nice. She's got the headlights on the shoulders. Really, really nice skin. Now we'll do Farah. Hers is a motorcycle design. My favorite part is the spinning rims on her wings there and how they steam up like that. That is really, really awesome looking in my opinion. But you also get name cards with this. I might even go as far as to use one of these. Here's the player icons. Then Diva only gets a spray. Sweet ride. And then the highlight intro again. But yeah, guys, we're going to go in-game with Farah in this vid to showcase these in-game. It is going to be a lot of fun. By the way, guys, while we're waiting, I just want you guys to listen to this. Hopefully you can hear them, but the boosters sound like Porsche engines with Farah and Diva's boosters. So we'll do it again here. Again, hopefully you guys can hear it. And here's what it uh, here's what it sounds like when you use the evasion ability or the jump ability. That is pretty awesome. Now we'll do Diva here and listen to the boosters, guys. That is so cool, in my opinion. And uh, by the way, I love that the uh, the little detail on the the handles there, with the reverse, the neutral, and the drive on the stick shift. That is really cool. Here's the micro missiles, and then the defense matrix, which sounds pretty nice. And there you have it, guys. But anyway, let's get on with the game. All right, guys, here we go. Again, I'm only silver when it comes to DPS, but maybe we'll work our way up. Not to mention, guys, I haven't used Farah much at all, so this could go a lot of ways. And yeah, one other detail about Farah's skin is she has that halo on the back of her head. Really, really nice. You don't see that in the showcase part, but yeah, she has that halo there on her helmet, the back of it. Just an awesome Strike skin here. Above. Let's have, uh, let's have her take a knee. That Being way we can of see it. Getting to save the world. Wow. Isn't it what awesome, a skin. Farah? Yeah, it is pretty awesome. What other emotes can I do with her? Let's see. Very nice. Five, I wish four, Diva was wearing three, hers, by the way. Two. All right, so hopefully I can showcase what I like to do with the uh, the rework Farah. One thing I like to do is to try to stay on high ground if I can. Like right here, I want to get up. Oh crap, messed up there, but I am back in the high ground. They got a song, bro. We'll have to watch out for that. See 
Here, I'm gonna have to move. Yeah, that far is gonna be a problem. Try to knock him off. At least I got the mercy. careful here. Yeah, they know I'm there. There's no point in even trying to... Yeah, Bastion was waiting. Almost got our ults, just gotta be Alright, got the uh hamster at least. We gotta find a way to No one could touch. Are you serious? Wow. I thought we had a team there. I mean, we're not doing too bad. We're leading the team in damage and elims. I don't know what the hell happened. Seemed like we had it under control, and things just fell apart. Particle cannon online. Let's run them over. Huh. Going up. Five, four, three, two, All right. 
whatever. But yeah, with Har Vara obviously trying to stay on the high ground. Like, if you run out of fuel, get on something high, stick to the tall stuff. Oh, now they got a far. Wonder if I can knock anybody off here. He doesn't use Farah like I do. You guys can see I'm still trying to stick to cover. I'm still trying to stick to a lot of other stuff. See if they want to engage me, then I run away like this. That is when I like using my fuel for. Try to get some shots in. Get my fuel. There we go. What the hell were you thinking there? Bastion, I mean. Let's see if I can go above like this. There we go. Got their mercy. Now I'm gonna retreat like this with the evasion ability, the jump. Alright, jetpack, get my fuel. Get this. Where'd she go? I like to use my ultimate in crowded areas because Thora can very easily get gunned down um, pretty easily when, because she's holding still. Fuel. See if we can swing around like this. Actually, maybe like this. There we go. Pick this up. Close, I'm gonna try gunning her down. Nice. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. You guys can see that, you know, with skirting around cover on high ground. It's keeping me alive, and look at that, I'm still getting kills and still getting elims. That's how you, uh, use Farah. At least, that's what I think. Maybe other people know more advanced stuff, but for me, the basics of Farah, especially, um, after she got reworked, just skirt around high ground and skirt around the tall stuff. Never ever be out in the open, whether you're floating or, you know, on the ground. Because, uh, if you're an old-timer like me, which I used to use Fara all the time back in the day, you're not used to all the fuel running out and then dropping to the ground, so... Now what I like to do is, uh, see if I can knock her off. Oh, I did! Very nice. Maybe knock 
them off to. Oh, I knocked him across. I didn't know it was that powerful. Oh, I tried to knock him off too. Yeah, you guys can see I'm really trying to get into this. Best I can. Rockets in, poke them a bit, and then see if I can get my abilities here. try to engage when uh when I see the only time I try to get low on a target is when they're either alone or when they're low on health yeah that's exactly why I don't use uh far on the open in a crowd like that because she very easily can get gunned down but I figured I'd try it there since uh Bastion was low time though. Aside from our tank, we're leading in damage and we're leading in elims. I can do there. I was gonna die anyway, so I figured why not. Alright, we got four ultimates. Surely these guys can uh, handle that. There you go. Very nice. That should do it. And look at those numbers, guys. Made one mistake with my maneuverability when I fell off the map, but I was probably going to die anyway. But yeah, maneuver around objects or maneuver on the high ground with the reworked Farah. I mainly use her jetpack and her jump ability. I don't normally use her concussion mine much unless if I'm trying to knock somebody off. But you can use your concussion mine too to kind of propel yourself off of buildings and stuff to get either further back or to get away from danger. But anyway, we'll play one more. Alright guys, Blizzard World is our next stop and again. With Farah, I'm just gonna skirt around high ground or skirt around tall stuff. I'm never gonna be out in the open. And the only time I'm gonna get engaged or try to get close to an enemy is if they're either alone or low on health to try to go in for the kill. But yeah, obviously with Farah, you wanna stay high. Now, obviously, you can't fly forever like you could in the old days, so. You want to stay on the high ground, like kind of skirt around high ground, like this. Oh, 
Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of things to maneuver on with Kara here, but there's a lot of stuff you can use for cover. Now, for right now, we're gonna do this. Kind of poke them with rockets for some cheeky ult charge. Hello. Five, we gotta four, be careful three, here. Two, one. Nice, so even got a kill. And now we're gonna scoop back. Mercy was forced to use her res there. Now we skirt back and then just poke them with rockets. But we gotta be careful of that widow. Another reason to stay close to cover. I can't get over how awesome the boosters sound. Don't, definitely don't want to be in hook range. Oh, careful with the widow. Back up a little bit. I am being a little more cautious because they do have a widow. I don't want to get caught. Oh. Over here. Very nice. All right. Now I'm going to try to engage with her dead. Try to get this guy if I can. All right. I didn't get him, but I managed to scare him away some. That was close. Yeah. You can pursue, but you can't go overboard. You can't overextend. And again, with Far, I'm gonna try to see if I can pick off a target with their ult. Alright. Again, I don't want to put myself to where I can easily get shot down when I use Farah's ult. Make them scoot back a little bit. Oh god. Back up a little bit. Let my fuel recharge. Now we get back on them. What's wrong with their team comp is uh, they don't have. They try to. I only engage if I see a target alone or if I can if I think I can kill them when they're low on health. We almost got our ult again, which we're gonna just try to use in cover. Oh god. Definitely want to get away from that. didn't see me, so I figured why not. Oh, got a Genji. He ain't got deep black though. I got him. And look at this, guys. Look at those numbers. 12 eliminations. More than... I mean, you can double... You can double the DPS and the tank, or you can double the other support, the other DPS, and the tank, and they still wouldn't have more elims than me. And I got the most damage, which, as far, that's to be expected. 
But yeah, that's... That's how you do it. Don't ever try to put yourself in an open spot. And don't ever try to put yourself where you're gonna run out of fuel and drop right in the middle of a crowd either. Strike from above. Always use your man your abilities to try to maneuver away or get out of danger if you need to. And for Farah's ult, always try to be in cover and try to take out one, maybe two targets in a crowd because again, Farah is very vulnerable in a lot of angles when she's ulting, so you want to be near cover especially. Isn't that what you want? What I want never should have mattered to begin All with. Right. Yeah, those are some pretty crazy numbers for that round, if you ask me. Let's see if I can get some shots on him. Alright, now I'm gonna go around, see if I can... hit somebody here. There we go, just like that. Now they can take out their other support. Very nice. Try to get out of try to get away from the hook range. Okay, I don't know why the team ain't pushing through after I just killed two of them. And that death was All my fault. No, I shouldn't no. have been that close, especially to a tank. But, uh, yeah. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hopefully the team by. has this under control. Again, this is silver, so the team isn't as good. Um, the players aren't as good in this rank. I get it. But yeah, hopefully you guys get the gist. Use cover and use her abilities to kind of bounce around, like, off high ground. Yes. Slam dunk with the awesome, awesome core skin. There you go, guys. That is how it's done. I don't know if I can set a better example. Again, it's a silver game, I get it, but hopefully you guys uh, at least get the idea. But anyway, yeah, those Porsche skins are amazing. We're gonna do Divas in the next video. I'll try to get them both uploaded this weekend. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the skins. Hope you enjoyed the Farah gameplays, and hopefully you guys learned something from my, my advice. And yeah, if you guys got tips down below in general, leave them in the comments below because I'm not perfect. I would love tips from you guys as well, especially those of you who are ranked higher than Silver in DPS. And yeah, guys, I'd appreciate it. But anyway, we're going to cut this video off. This is Ghost Pain saying, bring the pain in your matches and I will see you later.